So I've seen a couple videos posted about this, and I figured I would put my take on this here just to help out the radio community regarding Bluetooth RSMs. I've done a video in the past with this particular RSM. Uh, I'll put a link in the description of where you can find it. This is referencing uh, the Bluetooth RSM for the Motorola XPR series of radios, but uh, I've seen videos in the past where folks don't know which RSM or if any RSM that's Bluetooth is compatible with this particular radio right here. So this is a Motorola Apex 900 radio, as you can see there in the back. This radio does have Bluetooth capabilities, but which RSM, or if at all, works with it. So here's two options that you have right here. You have your traditional APX Bluetooth speaker mic right here. Uh, I don't know if we can take a look at the back. Give me one sec. So if we take the battery off, you can see the model number PMMN4095A. So this is a very common Bluetooth speaker mic that you'll see used amongst public safety officials, police officers and such. Uh, and I had used this particular speaker mic uh, myself at work for several months and it's a good RSM. But does it work with the Motorola Apex 900? And the answer is no. So I brought my Apex 4000 along uh, for this demonstration. So take a look at the back, Apex 4000. You can see on the upper right corner here, there is a blue dot. This RSM here has a blue dot. So any RSM with the blue dot is capable of any radio that has the blue dot. So 4,000s, 6,000s, 7,000s, 8,000s will work with this. So for example, we'll turn this on here. I'll just scroll over to Bluetooth. We'll just make sure that's on, which it is. You could see that, so we'll exit that. I'll go ahead and turn on this RSM here. And what I like to do whenever I'm pairing a new RSM with a new radio, I like to reset it. So what you do is you hold the power button and the push to talk simultaneously, and then you'll hear the following voice prompt. Motorola Solutions, power on, cleared. Touch blue dots together to connect. Okay, so after you get that, you can take any radio with the blue dot and... Connecting. Connected. All right, so it's connected there. So the reason why that's not coming through is I'm out of range of this particular ham radio repeater. But yeah, so this will work with any blue dot Motorola radio. But again, this video is about the ones that don't have the blue dot, the Apex 900 for an example. So let me show you what happens if you try to pair this with the Apex 900. So give me one sec. Okay, so resuming here. I have the Apex 900 turned on. I'll go ahead and scroll over to BT. Select that, you can see the status is on. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll down with the radio here. Device is connected. There's one paired, zero connected. I'll show you that here in a second. Bluetooth speakers off, that doesn't matter much. Apex friendly or excuse me, friendly name, Apex radio. Search devices is what you need to do eventually to pair this radio with an RSM, but we'll go ahead and turn this Bluetooth, or blue, excuse me, blue dot RSM on. And we'll clear it. Motorola solutions, power on, cleared. Touch blue dots together to connect. So if you try to touch them together or anything together, I mean, there's no blue dot on this radio. This is a similar body of the XPR 7550, so there's no blue dot. All right, so if we go to search for devices, we'll go and turn that on. It's gonna search, but over time, you're not gonna see this particular unit pop up. I mean, you got this one right here, that is not what we're looking for. So anyways, uh, that's about all you have for this. So this particular RSM will not pair with the Apex 900 radio. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the search and go back to the home screen. So we'll go ahead and turn this off here. Power off. Okay, so taking a look at the other RSM here, the model is PMMN4096B. Again, this is the non blue dot 
model of the RSM for a Bluetooth. This will work with any non-Blue Dot Motorola APX radio that has Bluetooth enabled. So let's go ahead and show you how to pair that there. So give you one sec here. So as always, I like to, whenever I turn on a new device, I like to clear it. So we'll just do that. Motorola Solutions, power on, cleared. Searching for host. So let's say searching for host. So at this point, we can go ahead and come back to our Apex 900 here. Go to Bluetooth. We're going to go to search devices. We're going to go on. It might take a little bit. Bear with it for just a moment as it's searching. So give it some time. Now, the reason why it may not be showing up is because... Um, Let me go back. You can see uh, devices connected. One has been paired. Let me select this real quick here. So when you're searching for a new device, for this, for example, you'll see this eventually pop up when it hasn't been paired with the radio yet. So since I've already paired this RSM with this radio, that's why it's popping up. But we'll go ahead and push connect. And then this will happen. Searching for host. It says searching for host, but it's going to connect here. So give me one sec here. Connecting. So it says connecting. Connected. And connected. So there you go. Oh, hang on. Let me just get out of that. All right. So there you go. So with any non-Blue Dot Motorola Apex model, whether it's the 900 here or 1000, 2000, whatever it may be, that does not have a Blue Dot, this is the RSM you're going to want to use. And it works perfectly fine. So, yeah, it's it's a good option to use, and it's on, it's honestly your only option, too. There's no other Bluetooth device that will work with Apex models. Uh, it has to be Motorola, and that often confuses a lot of people as to why you couldn't use, like, Bluetooth headphones or whatnot with these non-Blue Dot Motorola Apex models. So, there you go. You get this particular RSM. It will work with any non-Blue Dot Apex radio model. So, yeah. And this will, again, also work with any XPR uh, Motorola radio that uh, has Bluetooth enabled. So that's the whole reason I even got this. But it's nice to know that it works with the non-Blue Dot Apex models. So, hope you all enjoy this. Thanks for watching. I'm going to shut this off real quick because I don't need it on anymore. Power off. And you can see it's disconnected now, so... Anyways, there you go. I hope this radio. Uh, I hope this video was helpful for those of you who may or may not have known what to do with the uh, Bluetooth options for non-Blue Dot Apex radios. So, hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and take care.